Hey everyone, I'm Travis Pivey, join my son, Jordan Spivey, and if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss it on any of our awesome science videos. Also, scan the QR code at the top left of the screen to contact us and explore more of our awesome content and material. In today's video, we will cover magnets and magnetic fields, so, so let's, let's do this. this. Our learning target for today is, I can describe and explain how magnets and magnetic fields work. Let's first go over some useful vocabulary for magnets and magnetic fields such as magnets, magnetic domains, and magnetic poles. Magnets are any material capable of attracting iron and producing a magnetic field. There are two types of magnets. The first type are permanent magnets which always have a magnetic field. This means you can't turn it on and off, it is always on. Lodestone is a naturally occurring permanent magnet that comes from magnetized pieces of mineral magnetite. The second type of magnet is electromagnets whose magnetic fields can be turned on and off. Examples of electromagnets include motors, generators, transformers, headphones, electric bells, buzzers, and the list goes on and on. Electromagnets are used in almost every electronic we use today from cars, headphones, radios, computers, phones, you name it. Magnetic domains are certain regions of a material that align with the Earth's external magnetic field. These regions are responsible for the magnetic properties of the material such as lodestone. Earth's magnetic field extends from Earth's interior, which is made of molten iron out into space. Take a look at the following example. Earth's magnetic field starts at its core or center and extends into space. Notice that the Earth has a north and south pole region. The Earth's magnetic field protects our planet from cosmic radiation and from the charged particles emitted by our sun. Magnetic poles are the two ends of a magnet known as the North Pole and the South Pole. Light poles repel each other like North and North and opposite poles attract each other like North and South. Magnetic poles always come in pairs no matter how small a magnet becomes. Magnetism is in certain materials because of their atomic structure. Some substances' electrons will align toward a magnetic object when it comes near. This lets you know that this substance can be attracted by a magnet. Iron is an excellent example of a substance that can be magnetized. Look at what happens when a magnet is brought near iron. Its electrons align and are attracted to the magnetic substance. Materials that are not magnetic, their electrons do not align and they do not become attracted to the magnetic substances. Now let's take a look at magnetic force and magnetic fields. The force that a magnet exerts on certain materials including other magnets is called magnetic force. The force is exerted over a distance and includes forces of attraction and repulsion. Both the south poles of two magnets attract and come closer to each other while two north poles of two south poles repel and push away from each other. A magnet can exert force over a distance because the magnet is surrounded by a magnetic field. The larger or stronger the magnet, the larger the force it exerts over a certain area. This explains why Earth exerts a very strong magnetic force because it has a very large magnetic field. Look at this example. You can see the magnetic field surrounding a bar magnet. Tiny bits of iron called iron fillings were placed on a sheet of paper. When the magnet was placed on the paper, it attracted the iron fillings. The patterns of the iron fillings shows the lines of force that make up the magnetic field of the magnet. The concentration of iron fillings near the poles indicate that these areas exert the strongest force. You can tell because there are more shavings near the north and south poles than there are in the middle of the magnet. When two magnets are brought close together, their magnetic fields interact. You can see how they interact in the following diagrams. The lines of force of north and south poles attract each other, whereas those of two north poles repel each other. In summary, a magnet is an object that attracts certain materials such as iron. All magnets have north and south magnetic poles. The north and south poles are regions where the magnet is strongest. The force that a magnet exerts is called magnetic force. The force is exerted over a distance and includes forces of attraction and repulsion. A magnet can exert force over a distance because the magnet is surrounded by a magnetic field. This goes to show that objects can exert force on each other even if they are not in contact with each other. Magnets are able to exert force on other objects because of the magnetic fields that surround them. Think about this. The closer you bring magnets together, the more force that they have. They're either going to attract or they're going to repel each other. So the larger the magnet, the more force and the more attractive or repulsive force that it has. The smaller the magnet, the less force or the less attractive force or repulsion that it has. 
And that's our video for today. Now it's such an to see how proficient you are with describing and explaining how madness and magnetic fields work by taking our video quiz. Use your electronic device to scan the QR code at the top right of the screen, or you can click the link in the description box below the video to take the quiz. Remember, 80% are hired for proficiency. Record your results in your proficiency sheet, and if you don't get it the first time, you, you better, better keep, keep going, going because it's not over until, until you win. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, click that bell icon, and also scan this QR code to contact us and explore more of our awesome content and material. Peace and have a positive, productive day.